A lot of people have been leaving comments that I should make a video on a geometry book and I've chosen one here and to be completely honest, this is probably not the best choice for someone who wants to just learn geometry and, and they're just starting out. So if you're a beginner and you want to learn geometry, this, this might not be a good choice for you. There's, there's other books you can, you can get. But I wanted to make this video anyways because I collect math books and this book is very specific and it's very peculiar. It's also very rare. You can probably find copies on the internet and I'll look and if I can find some copies, I'll leave a link in the description. It's not gonna be $10. I'm pretty sure I paid uh, quite a bit for this book, probably like 30 or 40 bucks for this book because it's published by Mir Publishers Moscow, which uh, was, I don't know if they still are, a publishing company in Russia that would take books and um, translate them from Russian to various languages and then distribute them all over the world so people all over the world could learn from these Russian mathematicians and scientists. Basically, basically they were spreading intellectual knowledge throughout the world. I know a lot of Latin American countries uh, use books by Mir Publishers. I know this because on my Spanish YouTube channel, uh, Math Sorcerer Espanol, people comment about them and they have them. And I actually have one in Spanish as well. But they were translated to other, other languages. Here, here it talks a little bit about it. Mir Publishers of Moscow publishes scientific and technical literature in 19 languages. Wow, including all those most widely used. Mir translates text into Russian and from Russian originals produces books in the following languages. English, which this book is in English. German, French, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, Czech, Slovak, Finnish, Hungarian, Mongolian, Arabic, Persian, Hindi, Tamil, Gi Can Canada, Vietnamese, and Dari. Titles include textbooks for higher technical and vocational schools, literature on the natural sciences and medicine, okay, popular science and science fiction. Yep, I even have a cookbook by them. The contributors to Mir Publishers uh, are leading Soviet scientists and engineers. This is from Soviet Russia, crazy, right? From all fields of science and technology, among them more than 40 members and corresponding members of the USSR Academy of Sciences. Skilled translators provide a high standard of translation from the original Russian. Yeah, the translations are pretty good. Every once in a while there's something that's a little bit off, but they're pretty good. And many of them have been adopted as textbooks uh, in several countries. France, Switzerland, Cuba, Syria, India, Brazil, and many other countries. Yeah. So this book uh, is a book for physicists. That's right. So this is a geometry book that was written for physicists in mind. In fact, uh, the people that wrote this book, this book is based off lectures uh, that were given, I believe, at Moscow University in the physics department. So let's just read it here. See what it says here. I believe it says it here. Let's check this out. Let me move my camera here so we can see a little bit better. This book is based on the lectures delivered by the authors at the physics department at Moscow University, in addition to the traditional material usually presented in the course of analytic geometry. This textbook includes some problems which find application in physics and theoretical mechanics, the notion of barycentric coordinates, the role of Euler's angles and problems related to the transformation of coordinates, the representation of arbitrary transformation as a translation and one rotation in space, optical properties of the second order curves and the like. Also of interest is the appendix containing Hilbert's system of axioms, substantiation of the method of coordinates and the fundamentals of non-Euclidean geometry. This textbook, the textbook was awarded the 1980 State Prize of the USSR. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, and this might be one of the more widely available books, by the way, by Mir Publishers. So there might be some copies and I'll try to leave a link in the description. Most of these books by Mir are very hard to find in the US. And when you do find them, people are asking very high prices because there's just not that many copies available. It's written by Ilian and Pozniak. Translated from the Russian by Irene Alexanova. Near Publishers Moscow. I'm going to be very careful with this one because this is a valuable book. First published in 84. This is revised from the 81 Russian edition. Let's just take a look here um, at the content. So you can see the peculiar contents of this book. A, a lot of the books, uh, these books, these Russian books that were translated, they have really strange topics. And even when they don't, the explanations are a little bit different than what you would see in other books. For example, I have a differential equations book um, from your publishers. I believe it's by L. Elsgotts. 
I hope I said that right, El Elsgotts. And his book, um, it's regular differential equations, but the explanations, they're very different. Like they'll, they'll solve equations that I would teach my class to solve, but they'll do them in a different way. So here you can see some of the topics that you would see in a book like this. Sometimes these books are free. This one's pretty old, so I don't think it's gonna be, it's not, not old enough rather, so I don't think it's gonna be free, but I, I've, sometimes if you Google the name of the book, it's like on the internet archive for some reason, but I don't think this one uh, is old enough to be copyright free. But I've seen other books by mere publishers uh, that are free. For example, there's a partial differential equations book uh, by them that's free. Yeah, from the 70s, which is weird. This book is based on the lectures delivered by the authors at the physics department. Some remarks to do concerning the peculiarity of the exposition. For the first thing, the questions related to the plane into space are considered in parallel throughout the book. Vector algebra is treated in considerable detail. The concept of linear relationship of vectors is first introduced and then used to establish the possibility of unique expression of a vector in terms of the affine basis. Yeah, to meet the needs of theoretical mechanics. Yeah, so that's, it's, the focus is physics students. It's, it's kind of interesting to have a geometry course taught to uh, physics students. And it starts with the very basics, right? So it starts from the beginning. So in theory, you could buy this book and use it to learn mathematics. Um, it's pretty to the point. Uh, I've read small portions of it. It's very to the point. You need to know some math in order to read this. Your maturity needs to be pretty high. It's not light reading. These books rarely are. Uh, it really helps that you've had some exposure um, to geometry before attempting a book like this. I'm sorry, but I just have to give it a whiff here. Just, oh, this smells so good. This copy's in really good condition. I actually have two copies of this book for some reason. I think I, I, found, I bought one on accident. Just goes to show how obsessed I am with books. Wow. Just, oh, incredible, incredible. The equation of a curve on a plane. It's got graphics and stuff, so that's pretty cool, especially for older books. The equation of a surface and the equations of curves in space. Very useful stuff. So there's the equation of a sphere. Oh, here's the equation of two spheres. So you have two spheres, you have a system of equations. The sphere is defined as a locus of points m, each of which is at the distance r from the point, and the m naught, right, from the center. Sphere is like a three-dimensional circle, right? Cool. Yeah, just an interesting book on geometry. So just wanted to make you aware of this book because it's kind of strange. Um, you've probably never heard of this book. I don't think anyone has this book. If you do, leave a comment. I'm curious. Look at the cover without the dust jacket. Wow. Look at that. So copies with a dust jacket are usually more valuable. Um, but yeah, I think if you're into geometry or physics and you're interested in, you know, a rare Russian text or, you know, that was translated from Russian, um, it's kind of cool. As a collector, these are, you know, really cool. I collect a lot of things, math books, Magic the Gathering cards, coins, but I'm a low dollar collector. This is like my best stuff here. And again, the price of this book is probably in the range of like 25 to $60. That's usually my high end price. So, but uh, yeah, pretty rare, cool book. Thought I'd show it to you. Oh, if you wanna learn math, I do have courses uh, on my website, mathsorcerer.com. I don't have a geometry course. I have algebra, trig, calculus, advanced calculus, uh, abstract algebra, et cetera. Uh, they're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, which is reputable. You know, it's legit courses and stuff, and it's a good website, it has a good platform. But if you buy my courses, please use the links through my website as it helps me greatly. Also, I've lowered the price to make the price as low as possible. So when you use my links, you'll get a very low price. Also, subscribe if you want to. Um, I post all kinds of content here. So if you found any value, subscribe if you want. If not, that's okay too. And I also have another channel. It's called The Fitness Sorcerer. So I post uh, my fitness content uh, there. But yeah, if you take away anything from this video, it's that this is a geometry book uh, that was used, right, to teach physics students in Moscow, at Moscow University. It's just really weird, right? Uh, I, I don't know much about um, all of the physics courses that are taught, but I think it's cool that they had a, a geometry course for the physics majors. That's kind of interesting. So geometry for physics majors, pretty cool stuff. 
Until next time, keep doing mathematics.